Hello, my name is uh, Angel Cisneros. I'm the IT manager at Rupa Community Services District. And today we're going to be uh, discussing streamlining work order creation in CityWorks and how we uh, decided to take that on. Problem here. One slide back, sorry about that. So Harupa is comprised of a service area for two different cities, uh, the city of Eastvale and the city of Harupa Valley. We have about 32,000 water connections, about 31,000 sewer connections. Uh, our groundwater is 100%, our water is 100% from groundwater. We also do graffiti abatement, uh, street lights, and we have 14 parks that we maintain. We are fairly new to CityWorks. Our uh, go live date, our go live was uh, last month with Miller Spatial as our implementer. Uh, we decided to also integrate um, Granite Net for our sewer department, OnBase for our um, documents, New World, um, Tyler Technology for customer service, Rock Solid for um, parks and water leaks and city, citizen engagement. So a little bit more about us. So our parks department uses uh, CityWorks. CityWorks is, is district wide. So our parks department, uh, our parks maintenance guys are using it for mowing, um, for keeping up on mowing, for any type of playground or, um, or equipment repair and inspection. Our sewer department's using it mainly with Granite Net and doing uh, video and um, sewer line inspection. Our water operations is comprised of three different divisions. So our water distribution, which uh, those guys have been great with CityWorks, they've taken it on and use it. Uh, they're, they're probably one of our biggest users. Um, they use uh, CityWorks for work orders. Our water production with, does a lot of inspections in CityWorks. And then we have our water treatment. So this is a, this is a shot of our water treatment uh, facility. This is one of them that we manage. Um, and this is where our challenge came in. Uh, the deputy of water operations asked us to do one thing and streamline work order creation, but not just for anybody, just, well, for everybody, but for our concentrate reduction facility. This facility is uh, one of one. There's no, there's nothing else like this in the world. This, um, it is a huge facility. It has a small footprint, footprint, but it's four levels, four levels of equipment. Each floor has something, each floor has pumps. Uh, motors, uh, different items that can go wrong. We have over 2,500 assets in this facility. Uh, we had to identify and collect these and create some vertical tables. So let's um, let's talk about what we did here. And so we had to also use existing QR codes that were already in the facility. Our solution, we worked with Miller Spatial to come up with using Survey123, uh, JavaScript, and Respond 2.2. The initial thing was to collect and identify. So uh, right here, a few of the guys that were out there collecting every day. It took us about a month and a half to get all these assets in our GIS uh, with vertical tables and making sure we knew where they're at, identifying them, and also relating the asset tag or the uh, QR code that was with them. This is our vertical tables and we do want to thank Scott from uh, Park City. We used his schema um, for this and he, and he uh, was more than willing to share that with us. It was great, helped us out a lot. So do, thank you to Scott. Uh, we have 33 of these vertical tables. So then we created a view table um, to pull in the information from those, from those vertical tables. With that, now uh, uh, we can use survey one, two, three to actually scan the QR code. Then once the QR code is scanned, we can go to the JavaScript and the JavaScript will pull up a dynamic URL. From there, it'll pull up respond, giving us uh, that asset that we scanned. Gives us all the details about the asset, including a picture, total cost of work time, um, anything we might wanna know when we're out there. 
and then we create a work order. Uh, very simple to do. You just walk right through it, create the work order. And then to finish off, we have a work order. So this is a very simple process, uh, but really hard to get there. A lot of time scanning, uh, a lot of time collecting assets, a lot of time trying to get everything in there. But now that we have it, it's a pretty seamless process and it works really well. I'm going to give you a short little demo here of um, it actually going through the process. And this is this is uh, the person selecting it that they want to do the survey with the scan. So now they're they're loading the survey. They're going to scan the QR code. Now that they have the QR code scanned, they can bring up the uh, respond and actually see it. Check out the details, see what's going on. There's a picture of the actual asset, the cost, the amount of time it would take. And then they're also able to see work history. So they can go back and see uh, other things that were done to this pump, um, see if there's any comments, see if there was any problems that they might need to be aware of. So they go back and check it. And now they're just going to create a, a work order. They're going to select what they need to do. They also can type in comments to I get, tell people what, what happened or what their what their part was. Create the work order and then they save it. And all this was done within a within like I think less than a minute and a half. Um, they're able to find it. Trying to find a pump on a four level facility where there's many pumps on every floor becomes a little bit difficult spatially. So we're hoping this will help our treatment department uh, find the right asset, create the work order against the right asset, and not mistakenly choose a different pump that's maybe right next to it or maybe on a different level. So.